what's up you guys how you doing i hope you guys are doing good because i am doing amazing yes so in today's video i'm going to be telling you guys how relocating abroad affected my marriage okay yes i'm going to be giving you guys some of the tea and i'll give you guys a brief history of the kind of marriage i had or i have okay but the kind of marriage i had before i moved to the uk and how things are happening now okay how things are working now and yes hi if you're new to my channel my name is adeze if you like content like this please subscribe to my channel i don't know why i hardly tell you guys to subscribe to my channel but please i'm begging you please subscribe to my channel it's very important to me that you click that subscribe button if you like to watch me okay thank you i relocated to the uk in december of 2023 from nigeria so my family me my husband and my kids we all packed up our things and left and it was last year in august that my husband told me that we were going to be relocating okay and one of the first things that kind of bothered me or i won't say it bothered me it didn't really bother me but it's something that crossed my mind but i was too busy being worried about other things to really think about it and that is how relocating is going to affect my marriage because it was a job that he got here in the uk that made us relocate and the nature of the job here is different from the nature of his job in nigeria or the nature of the job he had in nigeria okay the one he has here in the uk is quite different so here he works every day he goes to work every day and comes back every day but in nigeria he used to be away for like two or three weeks in fact three weeks sometimes four weeks during the pandemic it actually went to five weeks or almost six weeks sometimes that he will be working and then he'll come back home for like three weeks break right but to backtrack even more we have always had a long distance relationship like even when we were dating we were not in the same city and then when we got married he was not like staying with me every day of the year yeah basically we've always had that break in between ever since we got married and we've been married for 12 years okay yeah we've been married for 12 years wow that's a lot that's a long time <laughs> so in that 12 years i've never lived with my husband as long as i have lived with him in the past four months yeah like consecutively every day every day so you guys can imagine how different this must feel to me it feels like for the first time i am actually actually <laughs> really really married but you guys get the gist right so yeah um uh, when he told me that we were going to be relocating it crossed my mind. I was like, okay, so the nature of his job is going to be different. I'm going to be seeing him every day on like what I was used to. And I have heard so many stories of couples that traveled abroad and their marriages started having issues. Okay. I used to hear it a lot when I was in Nigeria, even though I didn't pay much attention to it because I never had thought we were going to relocate. So I didn't, it didn't really bother me then. So it wasn't really something I even gave much thought to until the reality started facing me that okay this was about to be my new reality you guys know all those stories we've heard about people relocating and their marriages you know hitting the rocks and stuff like that if you have any personal stories let me know or if you faced any challenges it doesn't mean that you, you know your marriage must end but if you face any real challenges when you relocated i'd like you guys to share it in the comment section let me know what you guys faced okay i'll tell you guys mine in a second but before we get to the challenges that i face this video is in paid partnership with better help if you are not new to my channel you will know that early last year i was going through a lot you guys and i remember having this overwhelming sense of uncertainty i felt like i was stuck in limbo and i was not making any progress in my life <laughs> i don't know if you guys can relate to that feeling but i've been feeling that way lately like am i moving forward or am i moving backwards am i going to to the left or am i going to the right and that was when i signed up to better help and i got a therapist who helped me a lot she helps put things in perspective in a way that i don't think my family or friends could have helped she also gave me practical steps that i could take so she would assign me tasks and doing these tasks actually made my problems much much easier to handle so yes better help is an online platform where you can access credentialed therapists from anywhere okay from either your 
phone or your laptop and you will get professional help from a credentialed therapist. Now, one of the things I love best about BetterHelp is that you can get a therapist that is best suited for your ideals okay for your values so if you want like a christian therapist you just need to answer some questions when you get on the platform and then they select a therapist that will be best suited for you okay and if for any reason along the line you feel like you guys are not really a very good match you can always request for a new therapist and you will get one it is easy it is very convenient you can talk to your therapist at any time you can actually schedule live sessions where you guys will be talking back and forth or you can just drop a message for your therapist and they will answer as soon as they can okay obviously if you have an emergency then go and seek emergency services okay but i mean like you need therapy maybe you are going through issues you need someone to talk to you need someone to guide you in some you know through some things in your life then better help is an easy way for you to get professional help from the comfort of your home when i used it and i answered those questions i actually got someone that was very very satisfied with so yeah if you are interested in using the platform just sign up with my link i'm going to leave the link in the description box and also on the screen it is betterhelp.com slash a space okay betterhelp.com slash a space back to the issues right <laughs> so i remember then thinking about all the stories and all the just I have heard about, you know, marriages that move to the UK or move to these countries and how marriages are always having issues. Personally, I didn't think that I was going to have like major issues in my marriage, but the one that a little bit that bothered me a little bit was the fact that we had never lived together for too long. Like all the times that we've ever been together, sometimes it was two weeks, two weeks in, two weeks off, sometimes it was three weeks in, three weeks off, sometimes it was five weeks in, three weeks off. And I always felt that it was part of why we never really used to have issues in my marriage. Like we never really used to have like, when I hear some people, the kind of issues they have in their marriages, the kind of quarrels they had, I'm like, I cannot relate to because before we start getting on each other's nerves, <laughs> you know, he would have gone back to work and we'll start missing each other again. So I was like, ha, I hope that's not going to be my story now. Okay, so when we first got here, the first thing I noticed was that we didn't really have so much time to spend together as much as we were seen every day but he would go to work in the morning come back in the evening he's busy and busy till night and then we sleep off and wake up the next day and you know the cycle continues okay so we didn't really have that much time to just sit down and gist and chat like we used to do in nigeria because in nigeria when he was off work he was off work like sometimes he would do a little bit here and there but he wasn't like working so when he was off work he was off work but coming to the uk when he's off work he's still trying to catch up with, with learning new things and learning the new job so we barely spent time together we barely had time to just sit down and chat nonsense you know <laughs> and have nonsense arguments or just you know just chat like we never really had that time and to be honest at first it wasn't really a big issue for me because i was busy as well so i didn't really even sit down and start thinking about oh we're not spending time together or whatever but with time i started to think about it that okay so we are very busy doing our jobs, being parents and just taking care of the home and trying to move and trying to put things in place that we didn't really have time to spend with each other, okay? Like we didn't really have time to just sit down and just talk about our feelings and stuff like that. There was actually no time for it. And even now, now we are, we are better, okay? We are way, way better than it was then. But even now, it's like that time is not really there, which is confusing to me because Technically, we are spending more time together, but technically, <laughs> we are spending less time with each other. In Nigeria, at least, we had helps who could, you know, take care of the kids while we go out or do something. But here, we are the ones doing everything ourselves and we really don't have time to spend with each other just alone. I remember somebody asking me in one of my videos about how we... Um, how do we have time for ourselves? We don't have time for ourselves. That's just the truth. We don't have time to just go out together alone. In Nigeria, we used to go out together alone a lot. So when we were in Nigeria, we used to go out together alone a lot because we had helps that could stay with the kids or the kids would be in school and we'll just go out, especially to go and see movies. Okay, so we used to go and see movies a lot. After seeing a movie, we'll go shopping and then we'll go and have lunch or whatever and then we'll come back home. Okay, and that was enough for us. 
that was enough for us to be honest like yeah that was enough outing for us and you know we used to do it a lot in nigeria but here we've not even had time it's only once that we've gone out on a stroll alone. So yeah, the way we are here is vastly different from the way we were in Nigeria. And at some point I was like, I hope we are not um, getting to that stage of just being like strangers living in the same house, okay? Because the way, the way this place is set up, sometimes if you're not careful, you're going to be like strangers living in the same house. You will see yourselves walking all the time and the little time you have to yourselves, you, you just want to rest, okay? You just want to rest or do some house chores or do some extra work. <laughs> so yeah, it can be an issue here if you are not careful. You will really not have time to yourselves even though you are spending more time technically together. But now on the flip side, I actually feel like my husband and I are closer now than we were when we were in Nigeria, okay? Hear me out. So when we were in Nigeria, we had more outlets, okay? <laughs> we had more outlets, okay? So I had friends I used to spend time with, you know, I had other things to do with my life, okay? Aside just my kids, I had other places to go to, um, my parents would come and visit, I would go and visit somebody, like I had other outlets. Him as well, he had friends, he had other things he was doing, we lived in a bigger house, so we could be in the house, he would just be in his office, I would be in my office, you know, we had separate offices and our offices were very, very comfortable for us. So he could spend hours in his office, I would spend hours in my office and sometimes we'll just see when it's time for bed or something, okay? Or sometimes I go to bed, he's awake in his office watching movies or he's awake and I'm in my office editing a video or something, right? So here, because of how small the house is, because we don't have outlets like that, we are forced to be very, very close to each other. We are way closer now than we were in Nigeria. I feel like we are more emotionally connected now than we were in Nigeria, okay? I don't know if you guys can relate. If you can relate, let me know in the comment section, okay? I feel like we are more emotionally connected now than we were in Nigeria because in Nigeria, we had so many other things that were taking our emotions, but now we don't really have all those things here. So it's like you are giving all your, <laughs> all your time and attention and emotions to one particular person you know, I mean, aside the kids, right? But I mean, like to an adult, yeah, hey. to an adult, you're giving it to your partner and we are now closer. Yeah, I think the change is even more on his side, right? I noticed that he's more emotionally dependent on me now than we were in Nigeria, okay? It's almost like, because he's going through a lot, let me not even lie, he doesn't like this place. <laughs> in case I haven't said it before, he doesn't like this place. The only reason why he's here and you know why we came here is just for the money's sake, just for the job. Anything else he doesn't want to hear, he doesn't care about it. If we're talking about, oh, the environment is so beautiful, it's so nice, he'll just be like a beggar, beggar, beg. <laughs> you know, he doesn't really like this place. So I think he now needs more emotional support than he needed than he needed in Nigeria and who else to give you that emotional support than your wife so yeah so I feel like that's part of why he's now more vulnerable with me he's now telling me things more you know we are now more tightly knit than we were before I don't know how to explain it I wish someone who has better words to explain it can explain it in the comment section because and if you can relate I mean if you can relate let me know in the comment section that's why I, I get confused now when I think back to all the stories I've heard about people moving abroad and their marriages breaking and them, you know, having issues here and there. I mean, don't get me wrong. I can see where issues can stem from, okay? If both parties don't have a solid foundation, okay? I feel like me and my husband already have a solid foundation. Yeah, in Nigeria, we never really used to hide anything from each other. If I didn't share anything with him or if he didn't share anything with me, it's because we omitted it. It's not because we are trying to hide it from each other, okay? Um, yeah, and even in Nigeria, we were both hands-on. Like when it comes to doing the chores or taking care of the kids and whatever, we were both hands-on. So it's not like I came here now and I'm finding it hard for my husband to join with the house chores or help 
help me out no like we just continue the way we've always been in nigeria and yeah we've never both really been the types that used to like to go out you know so it's not like oh we used to like to go out we like our freedom you know people, some people say oh that in nigeria i had all my freedom i used to go out a lot but here i'm just locked up in the house i i, I can't relate okay because it never used to be like that for me in nigeria so yeah so i feel like because we have that strong foundation to start with that's why we were able to get closer here and overcome the fact that we spend so much time just taking care of the kids and taking care of the home and working we're able to overcome it here because we have that foundation and we have that connection already yeah so four months after or five months after i will say that we are in a better place than we were when we first came here it's not like we were even having issues Fun facts, before I filmed this video, I was trying to think about it. I was not like, wait though, I want to be sure that I'm actually getting the right picture. Did we have issues when we first moved here? And I asked my husband, what were the issues that we had when we first got to the UK? And he was like, which issues? Like, he did not have any issues. So he now asked me, did you, did you have any issues? Because I did not have any issues. And I was like, hmm, let me think about it. That's when I now reminded him that, remember that we were not really talking to each other that much when we first came. It was like, go, 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 go. It's like, you face your front. Me, I face my front. <laughs> we know what the plan is, right? You know you know what the plan is. You know what we need to do, okay? Everybody go and do what you need to do. There's no time to sit down and be wallowing in self-pity or be thinking about your emotions or be saying you're feeling this way or feeling that way. We, did not do, we didn't do much of that when we first came came so i tried to remind him but again to him it's just a passing phase it's not something that really stuck to him as a bad sign he just knew that it was a phase that was going to pass right thank god we were able to overcome those initial challenges thank god it wasn't a big issue however i can see why it can become a very very big issue for some couples okay but trust me if you love your husband and he loves you and you both want the best for each other moving abroad is not supposed to break your marriage it's supposed to make it even stronger because here like i said you may not have those outlets you may not have family here you may not have friends here you may not have you know recreational things to do here that will make you take your mind off your partner you may not really have things like that here so the only person you have to lean on emotionally and the only person that really understands what you are going through or, and how you feel at that point like the way you really really feel the only person that can relate to you and, can, and can understand you is your partner okay so i don't see why it should cause issues like long-term issues in anybody's marriage however if you see yourself struggling and you see yourself you know finding it hard to really get back together okay especially after a few months you know initially in the first few weeks or first few months it's expected that you know you guys you guys might not be 100 percent you might have issues because you are in the adjustment period right so that adjustment period should, should typically not last too long but if you see yourself months after you are still struggling with your marriage then please seek help okay again you can also seek help on better help you can get a licensed therapist to talk to or seek any kind of help that you feel is best for you but please seek help don't just sit down there and quietly be managing the situation because what happens in some cases is that they manage and manage and manage and then one day it blows up in their faces talk to your partner communicate with your partner okay that's one thing i think is helping us as well we try to communicate with each other in the little time that we have to communicate with each other okay <laughs> when we have time to talk we talk very well it's not those distracted talk or you know mindless talk we still have in nigeria here we sit down and talk very well and get very deep okay because you know that's the situation that we are facing right now or that's what the environment is forcing us to do and i actually like it because again like i said I feel like I'm closer to my husband now that, than I ever was. And this is 12 years after, okay? Like in the past few months, <laughs> I feel like I'm closer to him than I ever, ever was. But yeah, that's it for this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Did you struggle with your marriage when you relocated? In what ways did you struggle? And if you didn't struggle, let me know as well. Thank you again to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. Remember to use my link in the description box if you want to sign up. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.